Hi, I'm Robin Miner, a minister at Columbia. One of my favorite books on the spiritual disciplines is called Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life, and it's written by Donald Whitney. And in it, Whitney cites three catalysts most responsible for conforming us to Christ likeness. They are people, circumstances, and the spiritual disciplines. Now, two of these catalysts are almost completely out of our control, yet in my experience, these are the things we spend the most time focusing on, especially in times of stress like we're experiencing right now, when we feel buffeted by frustrating and scary circumstances and seemingly uncaring or even hostile people around us. In this weekend sermon message, Dr. Bauckham talked about the spiritual discipline of gratitude. And he reflected on the Apostle Paul's brutal imprisonment and his words, which feel so inconsistent with his circumstances. In Philippians 4, 4, Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. I was so challenged when Dr. Bauckham said more than we realize, we choose our emotional responses to situations with which we are confronted in life. And gratitude is a coping skill we employ to accept with grace that which we cannot or should not control. Paul did not shake his fist at all the jerks responsible for his imprisonment, nor the circumstances that got him there. That was out of his control. Instead, he rejoiced and it made all the difference. Focusing on the goodness and the graciousness of God will change our mindset from victim to victor. I once heard that laughter is an act of rebellion against the darkness. And I wish you much laughter and joy as you choose to rejoice, no matter how people or circumstances are acting on your discipleship journey. Even when gratitude grates, rejoice. Again, I say rejoice.